today we're going to look at a special integral. The function here is called sinc function. We try to find the integral of sinc function. We're going to try with integration by parts, which is one of the most useful integration techniques. So basically what we're trying to solve is calculate the integral. Sometimes is negative infinity to positive infinity or the half of it. This function is symmetric. From zero to positive infinity, we try to calculate the area on the curve. Now the function here is called sinc function. For those who see this first time, you may wonder who care about this, right? Sine x over x. It turns out it has many important usage in real world applications. So in physics, it appears in wave physics, optics, and signal processing. In WE, when we study signals, especially in the context of Fourier transform. And in communication system, we talk about the bandwidth, channel capacity, signal transmission. We're going to deal with that. We're going to see the challenges when we try to calculate the integral here. Let's look at the common technique that is integration by parts. We try to do this integral here. Integration by parts formula, you need to figure out which part is u, which part is dv. Once you figure that out, you can attempt with this formula here. All right, let's go. Let's choose u as sine x, and du would be cosine x. And the other one's dv, whatever the dv, we need to have be 1 over x. Oh, that's natural log, right? So that's easy. Plug that in. That's what's the integral here. u, v here. Evaluate at 0 and positive infinity. However, there's an issue here. Here, the sine x and log x at 0 is it's kind of undefined, right? Because we can assume it's zero. And as infinity here is undeterministic because the sign when x goes to infinity is going to fluctuate between negative one and one. So this one, we're not going to go anywhere. So we're going to abandon this approach. Now, how about the second attempt? Let's try to find different u and v. In this time, we're going to say one of x is u, right? How about dv, you know, at negative cosine x, right? Plug that in. What you're going to have is you're going to have this. Again, you're going to run into difficulties because this is not defined when x equals to 0. This integral here is no easier than the original one, right? So the integration by parts, you want to turn the second part, which is the int integral here, to a simpler form than the original ones. Now, in this case, Looks like we're not going to the right direction. The second attempt also fails. As I mentioned earlier, the new integral here doesn't simplify the problem. The integration by parts, even though it's powerful, it doesn't always work. So in our case, we need to resort to other method in calculating the integral. Of course, that will be the topic for the next video. For now, for this and other interesting math problems, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.